one of your coworkers hit your wife and the way you find out is because you know the way that she screamed when she finished. I swear to God that that whole job getting burnt down. <laughs> that, that whole job getting burnt down. Are you dumb? You think this funny? We go in a war zone. These boys think I'm a clown. They think I'm somebody to play with. You all are married, been together for nine years. But you, Mr. Ware, believe your wife is cheating and you have opened this case because of that belief. Tell us why you are here. Yes, Your Honor. I believe that my wife is cheating on me. Okay. I'm not cheating. Um, I have reasons to believe it. Um, What's the reasons? Oh, my goodness. What? This is tearing you up. Yes, it is, Your Honor. Um, this is tearing you up. His wife cheating. I, I can see why. She's very flirtatious. She friendly. No. How does it feel to see your husband standing here it so hurt. overcome that he can't even get the words together? Okay, it Your Honor. He is in tears because he believes that you're cheating. You know, Your Honor, I wear my marriage on... Your Honor. I wear my oh, marriage with pride. I oh. rocks my marriage. Okay. I rocks my marriage. Okay. I don't let no man come. If it ain't Jesus... I don't want to hear it. So, I don't want to hear it because I'm not going to hell. No, nah, that's how I feel. I'm not going to burn a hill for no one. I got married because I love my husband, but I also got married because I did not want to suffer. Here's my question. Have you ever cheated on your husband in no. the past? So I you have, have no never reason. cheated. He gives me everything. Ew. So he you don't... I got a phone call from my mother. Um, she was diagnosed with throat cancer. Oh. Um, belated. I went to go be by my mom's side. And in the process of me being by my mom's side, I get a phone call saying my wife is out hanging. Oh, she was in a club and running, running the streets uh, with Tom, Dick, and Harry. Um, she, she started a new life. Oh, you know, Jehovah, you gotta Jehovah, understand Jehovah. this. Miss Ware, were you in the clubs while he was out taking care of his sick Yes, mother? I was. I'm not gonna tell you, and I'm gonna be real, yes, I was, but see, your honor, he's not telling the whole truth. If you gonna tell it, you tell it right. You know, he called me, uh -huh. and he was like, baby, I love you, but I ain't never coming home. He's then not telling you Then were you sleeping with different going. men then? No. Well, that's a lie. All right, you don't believe that that's at all, lie. Mr. Ware. I Weir. got calls telling, telling me that my wife was cheating. I, I researched it, Ooh, you know, Jehovah, you gotta Jehovah, understand. If he said he not coming home, what made her go to the club? I'm still not understanding how that makes sense at all. I got men calling my house around 3, 4 o'clock in the morning where I'm booty call person. house. You understand that? Yeah, it I was one booty person call. So and I never had sex with him. And he was not my type. I gave him my phone number and then we got to talk. I was like, no, I'm not doing this. Well, you if know, he wasn't your type, why'd you give me your phone number? I was drunk. <laughs> right. Mr. Ware, clearly this marriage is in trouble. He have. He changed me. Mm -hmm. That's why I say I rocks my husband, because he have changed me. He did change me for the worse. He changed me for the better. Why do you think she's cheating? Well, Your Honor, you know, um, I had picked up a second job. I was in the process of going into the freezer area. Yeah, I noticed, you know, just hypothetically, you know, a group of guys standing over there, you know, laughing and joking, you know, when I walk away. But as I come back around, they hush, hush, and everybody act like they, they re seriously at work. What? So... I go back the next time to go to the cooler. I hear the same noise that my wife makes doing climax. You know, oh Lord Jesus, shoot. Oh Lord Jesus, shoot. One of your coworkers hit your wife and the way you find out is because you know the way that she screamed when she finished. I swear to God that, that whole job getting burnt down. <laughs> That, that whole job getting burnt down. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Look at her. She think this funny. We go in a war zone. These boys think I'm a clown. They think I'm somebody to play with. Look at how they treating this guy at his own job. Shoot. You know, and it's so just you hear these guys it's, saying this? Yes, Your Honor. It's just a coincidence. Oh, you know, Jehovah, you got to understand Jehovah. this. It's a coincidence. During our intimate time, you can the, just hyperly come off the top of your head and just say this. Okay, so and laugh and joke and you know why? So when you in, 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 in. so you see you hear these guys and they're saying, yes. "Oh Lord Jesus, what?" Yes, "Oh Lord oh, Jesus, Jesus, shoot!" Yeah. "Oh Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, shoot!" shoot. And you as know. you're hearing this, you're like, "That sounds familiar," Ooh, and it clicks to you it, that right. this is what she says when you all are Ooh, making God. love. God judge making it worse why he describing it right but we heard him clearly judge we heard him you ain't had to describe it oh, you know Jehovah, you gotta Jehovah, understand Jehovah. this 
I don't deal with these people. Ooh. They don't know nothing of me. They don't stay next door to me. They don't stay around the corner for me. You know. So the only way that is she doing it now? What the hell is her problem? What is she doing? This is why I don't go to church now. Women like this in the front of the church. Jesus! Yes, Lord! Save me! What do y'all be out here doing? All this ain't even necessary. What are you doing? How's she catching the Holy Ghost in a, in a courtroom because men saying you sleeping with them? How'd that make you catch the Holy Ghost? What has she got going on? Miss Ware. He, he wrong. Miss Ware. Miss Ware, do you say... Oh yes. Lord Jesus, you. Oh. <laughs> so you do say that. Yes. And so there's no way these guys would know that unless you've been with them. I gotta tell you, oh Lord Jesus, shoot is not common. If you keep being there, Thank you. And so Thank the you. fact that they would Thank say you. that in front of your Thank husband, you. every job he go to, I sleep with somebody at that job. Damn. Every job, did not give him an excuse to leave one job to another job to another job to another job. Are you admitting that you're sleeping with all these no. people? No! You're saying he's accusing you yes, of that. Yes, he's accusing so me. So every job he, he goes to, he says you just slept with somebody yes. on that job. Yes. Mr. Ware, you're not doing that, are you? Yes, he is. Your Honor, you know, I love her, but do I believe that she's the woman that, that I, I fell in love with? No, I do not. Oh, Have you like... seen anything else that make you think that your wife is cheating? I, I came home from work. I knock on the door. You know, we only have one set of keys. It takes us uh, seven minutes That's a lot. to come to the door. Then I get in the room, the bedroom window's open. It's January in Chicago. And the window's Wait open. Wait a moment. Okay. For real. Okay. Okay. So, you know, did you... I go take the garbage out, and the person of me taking out the garbage, I look down beside the window, I see Footprints. That's a lot. Like, 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 like a person, you know, said, scooted out the, out the window. And you know, jumped out. Finger, fingerprints up the, up on, up the windowsill. Ooh, Not, not we, our windowsill. Why are we even in court for this? It's kind of obvious that she's cheating at this point, throwing the bed sheets in the tub, window open in the middle of the winter, footprints on the, on the trash, fingerprints on the windowsill. Yeah, she up to no good. And then I had a little candle on the candle. They caught on fire. Okay. But why was the window open? Because I was letting the smoke out because the smoke alarm came on. But why were there fingerprints on the ledge? He didn't tell there? you that. How can they... Our scream is... Um, the scream is like... Because the scream was already bold, but my landlord came and screwed it down. So there's no way for there's you no to get way. out. There's no way. So you deny that you had a man in your house oh, when he came home that evening? I don't cheat evening. on my husband. That sound nice, but if you're doing it, you're doing it. I think because of this, this court has done a full and complete investigation. Mm -hmm. At this time, the court would like to call licensed private investigator Eric Eccles to determine... Eric Eccles? Is she cheating? Come and get Eric. Show us Eric Eccles. I need to see this Eric Eccles. He balled too, okay. Good day, Mr. Eccles. How are you? Fine, Your Honors. How are you doing today? Doing well. It's good to see you. Tell us what you and your team did to investigate this case. Well, Your Honor, I had a very built and well put together associate of mine go undercover and pose as a man who... A very built and well put together associate. That's how they're going to describe a strong man. They got a decoy for this young lady. They wanted to see if she was cheating. We're not going to do a lie detector test. We not going to look for evidence. We going to get a big buff nigga <laughs> to come flirt with her. <laughs> what the fuck are y'all doing? What is this show? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> they stealing book. They stealing from the Mari book at this point. What is this? Everything seemed pretty calm at first until a court staff came in and asked my associate to change his shirt before he took his polygraph test. Oh. What happened after he removed the shirt? Well, uh, Miss Ware got pretty heated at first and did everything in her power to keep it together, and we also brought that tape. <laughs> oh, I see you're fanning. You your fanning. Did you take the test already? Huh? No, I'm gonna take it. Too much, too. Ah, yeah, but it's... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Carly, you're good, though. I love Jesus, family. 
Lord Jehovah help me. Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> Uh-uh. Uh-uh. He good. You got some lotion? They just took my bag. Oh. I had to start really? pacing because really? I got hot. And I was like, I gotta get out of here. You gotta let me out of here. <laughs> I would get drunk. I don't know if you're crying because it's certain a little. Oh my mm. God, Jesus. Don't do that. <laughs> Where's this decoy Riz? He not he not asking the questions. Why you getting hot? Why you started pacing? What's making you feel it? Where the questions at from the big buff interrogator? <laughs> I can't wait till I get home to tell my best friend. I'm like, girl, 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 this man made Derek look small. <laughs> I thought Derek was doing his job. What do you mean Derek looks small? <laughs> yeah. Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. Look at this religion. What is this? Why is she using the name in vain now? Out here just being inappropriate on the marriage. I wear my ring proud. Talking about you gonna make Derek look small. What kind of marriage and religion is she out here being all like this? What do you think as you're watching? I'll that? just I'll just say my wife is selfish. If I was to touch a woman, that's a problem. A coworker can't even say nothing to me. Do I go there and put some uh, you would, you would shut your Sunday eyes. lotion on her because she wants to lotion? I didn't put no lotion. lotion. All I did was roll up his sleeve. Right. He said it hurt it right up in here. So I rolled the part up and I was like, okay, you can pull this up too. And it will help. Right. To further investigate this, we ordered Miss Ware to take a polygraph exam. Oh, they did. We like to call food. certified polygraph examiner Tommy Platt into the courtroom. Ron, we'll do this for you, man. Tommy Platt. Wait, then what was the point of the big buff guy? Was they going to think she was going to sleep with him in the room? What was the point of that if you had a polygraph? Miss Ware was asked, have you ever had physical sexual contact with anyone from your husband's job? What was her response? She stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that... How you gonna give me a commercial? Oh, wait. The lie detector determined that she was being truthful. We no, but I believe in Jesus, and Jesus know my heart. Hello. Mrs. Ware was asked, during your marriage, have you had sexual intercourse with Ooh, anyone Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. other than your husband? What was her response to that question? She stated no. Mm -hmm. What did the polygraph determine? The polygraph determined that she was telling the truth. Oh, she's loyal. Ah! Mr. Uh, Ware? Yana, Yana, you know, um, I can be man enough to say, well, sorry, I apologize, mm. you know, but I also got to make it up to you, okay? I you told him I want some things. I told okay, him if I, mean, I pass this, I want some things. I want a diamond ring, and I want a new car. You have to be careful with your husband if he's the quiet type, because you can stomp all over him and not even see it. When we turned to him, what he said was, I'm sorry. I'm willing to do some things to let you know I love you and appreciate you. I love you. my husband, Your Honor. I, I, I know, but here's... <laughs>